and welcome to Harvington Hall. I'm currently standing in the great kitchen, but I'm here to show you the well. Well, well, well. Now we've never shown you the well on social media before, and I think the reason is it's just something that's easily overlooked. We take it for granted today that we have running water in our homes, but to have your own indoor water supply in the Elizabethan period is quite a rare thing. But we actually have two wells here at the hall, this one and one that's out in the garden. But the medieval hall ends pretty much at the doorway of the kitchen. So when Humphrey Packington was building the Elizabethan hall, he had built the kitchen around the well. But the water for the well is fed from the moat outside. But I will point out that all of the Elizabethan toilets also fell directly straight into the moat. It's pretty grim, isn't it? But Harmonton is built on sandstone, so when the water's coming in, it's actually getting filtered. And on a nice clear sunny day when the light is shining through the window, you can actually see to the bottom of the well, and it's about five foot deep. Now the strange thing is, this water is actually clean enough to drink today. I don't advise it, we won't be doing it again, but I know people that have drank the water and they are still with us, I can assure you. But the first thing you'll notice when I throw the bucket in, if we pretty much instantly hit water. Now when I pour the water out, you'll notice this is significantly cleaner to what's out in the moat. bad is it? But we have to remember that water in the Elizabethan period was still relatively dangerous to drink but of course this has been filtered so they may well have been using this for drinking water but of course you'd use the water for things like cleaning, doing the laundry and of course having a bath as well. So I hope you've enjoyed that and we shall see you very soon. <laughs>